Welcome to the Popcorn Talk Network. For the online broadcast network that features movie discussion, news, and interviews, press one. Popcorn Talk. We talk movies. I'm opening. We have an odd. Welcome to the Popcorn Talk Network. For the online broadcast network that features movie discussion, news, and interviews, press one. Popcorn Talk. We talk movies. From the Popcorn Talk Network, the online broadcast network for movie talk, and the schmoes know... This is Marvel Movie News, bringing you the most up-to-date discussion and commentary within the Marvel Universe. Excelsior to you, our merry Marvelites. Welcome back to our 28th show of the year, 2015, 45 and all. What are you giggling at because you, uh... What? what are you doing? All right, get that down. We are the Marvel Movie News, coming to you live from the Danger Room, where we tell you all the news from all the studios and why you should be as excited as we are. Subscribe to us on iTunes at Marvel Movie News or find us through the Popcorn Talk Network. YouTube forward slash Popcorn Talk Network. You can also find us through their website, popcorntalknetwork.com, or or you can follow us on Twitter at Marvel News PTN, on Facebook forward slash Marvel News Show. Follow us, like us, enjoy us, talk to us as much as you can. And guys, if you'll tweet a link to our show telling people uh, that the live chat is going on, Jonathan in the booth will retweet you. So that's a special little prize that we can give to you. Uh, anyway, I'm Matt Key at the Matt Key. I'm uh, your teller to your pen, Meredith Placco. Yes, very good. I have no clever rebuttal. I am <laughs> Bubbles the Monkey. No, no you're, my you're, universe. You're Koyjandra. Koy Koyjandra. Yeah. At uh, Koyjandra. Oh, did you finally give up your name because someone else took it? No, they're still there. I've been talking to them. They don't respond much, but I try. I try. <laughs> he's got he's got two people impostering him. I've got two as, fake uh, me's on Twitter, and I try to correspond with them. You should just it. become Mojo the Ultimate. <laughs> <laughs> we had a whole Mojo theme before the show started. We're trying. Yeah, just pre pre show banter, guys. <laughs> <laughs> pre show banter, uh, and, and that was the voice of. Uh, the good Lord John Schnapp. What's going on, sweaties? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've we uh, you have begged for him. We finally uh, got him on, and uh, it's it's been delightful getting to know you before. Uh, why don't you tell people what you've got going on? Uh, not a whole lot um, at all. <laughs> you seem you seem like you're a pretty yeah. easygoing, slow moving, never yeah. having anything going on kind slow of guy. Slow moving is me. Um, well, uh, we just got back from Australia. We had a screening of our film, The Death of Superman Lives. Mm -hmm. What happened? It's a documentary that's not based on a Marvel character. Um, it's based on the Superman. Al almost, Lives. Yeah. almost, yeah. almost. In the yeah. early '80s, almost. No, it was actually late '90s. Is when Wait. Marvel went bankrupt. Oh, really? And, uh, and DC was almost going to buy them. Oh, I'm talking about the time when the DC guys went to Marvel and said, hey, uh, we can't get anyone to buy our comics. Oh, Do you wow. guys want to take over? That wow. was in the early 80s. <laughs> and the publisher at Marvel at the time said, now your characters suck. We don't want them. Thank Damn. you. <laughs> then it flipped around. They're yeah, like, oh, then it flipped around. Buy, you know, yeah. and, you know if you, any of the super deep nerds have obviously read the Amalgam series. <laughs> <laughs> and several, they tried them twice. Yeah, it's like Spider Boy. Yeah. Oh. I remember Spider Boy uh, was just everything wrong with the '90s, but it was so what, so right. What was the X Men one? I can't remember. Like it was. It was like JLA and X-Men, I think. Yeah. yeah. Was it? Yeah. Oh, it was it so was bad. It was special because everyone had so many pouches. And like, yeah. It was so good. Yeah. yeah. Did Rob Lyko like, draw yeah, it? Yeah. It was that. But it was of was that era. Like, in that, like, no one can move. Oh, so yeah. good. Dark Lot was cool. They made that animated series comic. Uh, where That's was, right. Like, there was the animated version of him. That's the second time they were, let's try it again. Maybe because Wolverine and Batman so cool. Yeah. That, that, is, no that is. I mean, it's amazing. And the name Dark But trying twice to be like, maybe this time it'll stick. Nope. Nope. nope, no traction. Nope, nope. nope. frictionless. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, is uh, you got anything else you want to throw out uh, yeah. before we get uh, get into the news? Yes, um, I am going to be doing a whole bunch of comic cons coming up. I'll be at Long Beach in September. Oh, uh, nice! And then the uh, is that a good con? I haven't been yet. It, it actually is. I've never actually done the convention. Mm -hmm. I've always just yeah. been a patron, and I've always had fun going there. So this oh, time cool. I'm actually going to have a booth, and I'll be selling my Blu-rays there. And then I'm going to do the Rose City uh, oh. Comic Con in Portland, and then oh, doing nice. the Salt Lake City Comic Con in Utah. So that'll be September, and then the documentary is awesome. I can say unbiasedly. Oh, <laughs> thanks, man. Yeah, so it's been a, it's been a lot of fun. It's been great to finally get the documentary done. Yeah, and then I can get imagine. the Blu-rays and DVDs made and finished, and then now we've been going on this kind of tour. 
and just slowing down. And I've just started writing. Uh, I've been writing this horror musical, so that's going to be my oh, feature film. That's so awesome. And uh, it's a comedy horror musical, um, and uh, it's been a lot of fun. I've already got three songs done. Awesome. Nice. Oh my god, that's amazing. Uh, and uh, and then uh, I'm working on a new documentary, so I'm probably going to launch it in September. Can you can you tell us what that's about, or is that still close yeah. to the best? Can I say it's going to involve comic books? Oh, it's going nice. to be something that's so close to my heart. It yeah. was, for me, like making that the Death of Superman Lives, what happened was my first documentary, and I, I worked with an incredible small team, a, a great crew, my producer and fiance Holly mm -hmm. Payne, and a great new friend, the editor uh, Marie Hamora. Like we literally worked in a room like three times smaller than this for eight months, just like editing and re-editing and changing stuff around and figuring things out. So the process of making a documentary yeah. is so much different than what I come from. I come from scripted television. Mm -hmm. So and I've been doing that for fourteen years. So a little show called Metalocalypse. Yeah, a yeah. little show like little and show. also a little show <laughs> called Venture Brothers, guys. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, a little. A yeah. little, little show that might be one of my favorite mm -hmm. yeah. shows of all Did time. Did a little yeah. show called Marvel's Black Panther. Uh, you oh, know, just a few things yeah. like that. You know, just know a couple that. little things. That's awesome, yeah. man. It was an animated one that was based on... It was Jamon Hunt's here, right? Yeah. yeah, I've yeah. seen it. I had no idea. Yeah, J Jamon was great in, uh, in the booth because uh, there was a scene where he was like, on the on the you know on his flying uh, sky cycle, yeah. his Panther mobile. I can't remember what it was called, <laughs> but he was like, "Come over here, I need your help." And I was like, "Dude, you're on a cycle. You got to yell that shit." Like, oh, right. Come over here, I need your help. You know, I was like, "All right, that sounds good." That's it's awesome. Like, some when you're in a booth, sometimes people forget. It's like you have to always imagine what you're doing. Yeah, you know. So it's like that's where I think when, when if you watch the Phantom Menace, you could tell that none of them are imagining anything. Yeah, you're just somewhere speaking. Yes, yeah, so yeah. they're like, I'm talking to something. It's going to be a giant monster. All right, you describe it. We don't know what it looks like yet, but here's a, th a stick. <laughs> There's a stick at, with a yeah. tennis Yell ball. Yeah. Stick. Like, just talk to the stick, you know? <laughs> I would love Demon as T'Chaka, like to nod mm -hmm. to that world. Oh, yeah. He's so incredible, man. He was amazing. So good. He's he, impossibly good looking. Like, he's yeah. so symmetrical he's, and just yeah. like. What, what do you think about the rumors that came out a couple months ago about uh, Ernie Hudson going out for the role of T'Chaka? <laughs> I've wanted, like, Ernie Hudson to come back in a big way for a long time. Yeah. I love Ernie Hudson, man. I, I don't have any problems with Ernie Hudson, but not as. Not, not as. Yeah, he doesn't not, have that regalness. Yeah. yeah. That, that was my first thought. I was like, oh, come on, Ernie. Hudson, Hudson, please, yes. He's but, all regal. Uh, like, Damon Hudson yeah. is just like, I am this. When he walks ethereal. into a room, he's regal. I mean, yeah. you're just sort of like, that's kind of like, and I'm, I'm sure Ernie Hudson could play it off, and maybe he would be like, you didn't even fucking let me try, motherfucker. Yeah. You know, it's like, <laughs> I bet he could have blown it out of the water and just everybody would be like, he was amazing. But sometimes you, that's you how presence. acting is. You just get cast on like, you're, all right, you've done these five roles. Yeah. Here's the same thing. Yeah. He People was don't want you out of that. Like, he was homeless, and, and he was discovered because he was like this beautiful man, and then he was a model and now actor. Like, mm. that's, that's when you know you have presence if you're like, look at this man on the street, we should make him a model. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a chaka. Uh, all right, well, let's jump into the news. We've got a little bit this week. Uh, we'll be talking D23. Mm -hmm. uh, none of us were there, but Meredith was there, was there, so she's going to lead the discussion. We've got some Daredevil stuff. We've got X-Men Apocalypse. Uh, we will be talking about Fantastic Four, giving our opinions <laughs> on that. Uh, but first, we're going to jump over to Marvel with some Civil War stuff. Uh, Tom Holland has been visiting the set of Civil War in Germany. Uh, we don't know anything about it except that he's been over there, but just today Heroic Hollywood dropped uh, news where they are claiming that they are filming a fight scene between uh, Spider-Man and Captain America. Yep. Yep. Uh, tie into the comics? It perfectly ties into the mm -hmm. comics. How does Umberto get all these amazing, <laughs> juicy <laughs> nuggets? And in his article, he actually referred to his ninjas in Germany, I believe right. is nice. what he said. He apparently has uh, the hand. Yeah. Oh, he's, yeah. he's operating I, with I the buy hand. That. And, uh, I totally buy that. He just has international like background yeah. extras that he sends out, and he's like, "You look perfect for this background scene. Go to Germany. Go to Germany. <laughs> <laughs> just like a little spies, but of like the background variety." Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would work. Uh, anyway, I'm excited to see that. That was actually in Civil War. That was one of my favorite. Uh, moments was Spider-Man realizing he had to fight yeah. Captain America, mm -hmm. like the way he talked about it, how he was like, uh, oh my god, I'm fighting this man who I've looked up to for so long and now we're on opposite sides. Like, that was such a great And it's it's such panel, a pivotal yeah. moment for Spider-Man yeah. in that series that, I mean, it's it's interesting because, you know, again, in the movie world, we don't have that history of the Spider-Man, yeah. So, but we are getting a very rich scene in yeah. this movie, so I'm really curious to see how it's going to play off. Well, it, again, this is just a rumor, so we don't know if that's going to be I, you know, sure, but... can we even is there a level between like rumor and fact that we can put Umberto like there needs to be a new phrase? Uh, it's 
Floaty. <laughs> floaty? Yeah. floaty. Floaty. I heard a floaty rumor today. <laughs> yeah, I don't even really know. Yeah. 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 I love it. Yeah. yeah, I heard a floaty today. <laughs> it's uh you know what? I'm I'm wondering if he'll be wearing the Iron Spider outfit because that's what he's wearing when he fights Captain America. Yeah, that's no, that's a good point because um, so, I mean, if if he's been working with Iron Man, that would uh, make sense. Yeah. And I've been guessing that you know, remember they they showed all this, uh, like you know, Spider Man's first outfit's going to be kind of like a sweater or a hoodie, yeah. and I really think that that's true. I think you know, yeah. it's a, a kid in high school doesn't have amazing sewing abilities, which is one of the yeah. things that really bothered me about <laughs> all does. the other Spider Man. Thank movies. you. Yeah. No, I where did he get I, that amazing design sensibility? Yeah. Did that come with the spider bike? <laughs> yeah. You know, so well, so spot, spot, where did spiders, get that yeah. Yeah. spiders know like how to spin silk. No. Ball, what a, you know? oh, there we go. That's I'll buy that. I'll Spiders buy that. Spiders know how to spin silk, so he like not only did he get all the powers of the spider, but he got the design sensibilities. Design sensibilities. He was this blue like, and I red. was gonna be seamstress man, but then I <laughs> thought Spider Man would be I mean, cool. You could tell that Steve mm -hmm. did co-design Spider Man because it's different than every other Jack yeah. Kirby design. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. um, I think that they are gonna go with that the, the hoodie kind of thing. It makes sense that a kid, if he got you know spider powers, would be like doing that. Yeah. And then he gets hooked up with with Tony Stark, and Tony Stark builds him that outfit. Yeah. And then and maybe even gives him like, because you know how he's like, make it red, Jarvis, do that, do mm -hmm. that. spider green or whatever. He's gonna just, you know, it'll yeah. be made. Zip, 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 yeah. zip. Yeah, I, I think it'll be that, and then I think he's gonna end uh, the movie with his, you know, his iconic. I think post-credit yeah. scene Spider yeah. would be really cool. Yeah, I think that's probably what's gonna happen. It's a lot of story to cover to get to Iron Spider that fast. Like it's an incredible amount of like three suits, yeah. twenty minutes. Yeah, but, and it's uh, also called Captain America Civil War. <laughs> yeah. I don't really want Spider-Man to be in it more than five minutes. That's yeah. true. It's want, turning into you know? Batman versus Superman with everyone. So everyone is yeah. in it. They're everyone. like, Mark Ruffalo's. I think I'm going to be in it. So come on, man. Yeah. Mark yeah. Ruffalo so, just like walks by in the background, like Tony. Yeah, right. What's up? That would be awesome. I'd love that. <laughs> that would be great if they had one scene with all the Avengers just hanging out. <laughs> But their build is like top billing. <laughs> They're just right. all judging Spider Man. It's all them just like yeah. talking crap about Spidey. Like it cut to that's, yeah. the C story is like just cuts back to them. Like did you see the thing? He does kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, he's like fifteen. Is he cool? How does he do? How does he can't even drink. <laughs> but did you see the presentation? The Civil War presentation? Yes. Okay. So yeah. I was there for the Doctor Strange and Civil War. There's stuff. a scene that I heard described where it's like. You know, both sides like running at each other. It's pretty. I mean, I, you know, we'll get to it a little bit later too. But I, I will say, uh, I love you, Winter Soldier. But I think Civil War is going to be my favorite Marvel film. Uh, just, just yeah. from what I'm seeing, yeah. it's. I think they learned them from their mistakes from well, because it's not an Avengers film. It's what Avengers: um, Age of Ultron should have been mm -hmm. in terms of writing and, and cast so storytelling. Incredible, they are. Yeah, Winter Soldier yeah. was a game changer. Yeah. Just uh, what, what we saw. Oh God, I know. I'll wait. I'll wait. Okay, I want to. I want to talk all about it. That's fine. The well, Russo brothers. They they hinted when uh, they came and did a studio visit, and afterwards, like I can't say exactly what they mm -hmm. said, but they. I was like, we were just talking about action films and. I was like, you know, that that car chase scene in Winter Soldier with Sam Jackson was like, nothing yeah. beats the mm -hmm. Raid Two yeah. as far as that kind of action oh, sequence God, with yes. cars. But that was like a top close second. That was so, so good. really well done. And so we just started talking about action scenes, and they talk. They're they talking about one sequence that they're like, we're we're still going to try to attempt it, and it's like very much like a sequence in The Protector. Like and oh. I was like, what? I haven't seen the protector. Okay, so you, all you need to Tony check Jow, out the man. yeah Tony Jaws is incredible and uh, definitely check out the protector. So okay, all right. I well, loved that I was watching Winter Soldier and literally like leaned back and was like, I've never seen a car chase like this, and I haven't yeah. had that experience since I was like twelve. Yeah, yeah. Because car chases are so dime a dozen. So yeah. Russo's mm -hmm. handling every Avenger ever plus Spider Man. Yeah. Game take, on. Take my yeah. take it. Makes sense. Uh, well, let's uh, let's jump over to still on uh, Civil War with uh, we have a picture of Winter Soldier and his. Full on get up, uh, running with uh, Falcon now. Uh, so like now they're best friends. Like right. yeah. you know, like they they've probably been hunting him down, and I now they're running seen together. This until right now. You haven't seen this? Oh, oh, it's the so best. Happy. He doesn't have the spooky eye makeup either. No, right? he doesn't. He doesn't no. have the metal arm, but he doesn't have the like I'm, he, I'm from the crow. Yeah. <laughs> majestic He's not the crow. Yeah. He's blowing in the wind. And luckily, he doesn't look like his character from Once Upon a Time. Because he plays the Mad Hatter in Once Upon a oh, Time. Yeah, he's a little creepy. A little, yeah. little, you get a little, get a little weird vibe off yeah. of him. Um, I love that he's sticking out his tongue, too. He's like running with yeah. so much effort. <laughs> like, that is like some effort full <laughs> running. Well, they've been dropping do all these cool photos. There's like one of Cap up on the top of a roof side running. And then yeah. you saw Black Panther. And yeah. And yeah. Soldier like side scrimping down the wall or something. It's like. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> well, I, no, have you seen the memes of, that have come out? No. From this? These are a couple of my favorites that Is I saw yesterday. Putin? They're running away from an exploding <laughs> jet and a Putin. Putin. Wow. Uh, Vladimir Putin. And then amazing. the next one is, my, I think, my favorite, uh, where they're running with Rocky. They're in the oh background. Oh, my God. That's awesome. 
<laughs> just, that's strong. That's this is, really this good. is good. That's really good. Uh, yeah, so, uh, by the way, Mary Marvelites, if you want to uh, create some memes for us of please. them running, please yeah, do. I enjoyed those two please so Please do, yeah. No, there are a couple others, like running from a giant ant and stuff like that, but those mm -hmm. were my two favorites, so. Putin for Norman uh, Osborn. <laughs> that's right. Putin, oh, my God. Putin leading yeah. the Thunderbolts. <laughs> yes. Putin is any villain. Yeah. yeah. Sign me yeah. up. Yeah, just riding a bear. Like I think, I think every single Bond villain ever has been patterned uh, yeah, on I think him. They've accidentally mm -hmm. based them off Putin, and he's just been like, oh, they just didn't even know about they it. Took yeah, thing. yeah. Or, or or Putin based himself off of Bond oh, villains. Yeah. Just grew up, like they seem strong. Oh, yeah, so this is cyclical. So I want to be. Uh, let's, uh, we've got a mm -hmm. little bit of a spoiler here with uh, talking about uh, Evangeline Lilly. So if you don't want to listen to this part, skip ahead for just oh, a, like a, a, a minute. Spoilers. Uh, spoilers. <laughs> spoilers. Uh, Evangeline, uh, so we're doing this. Uh, Evangeline Lilly has been scanned for her wasp suit, which we didn't know yeah. about, but uh, apparently like uh, I didn't want to put a picture up. Mm -hmm. Like they had a picture, but I, I didn't want to put it up. Uh, but uh, she was, she said she w I was scanned for the wasp suit, but then got pregnant. Let's hope I fit it again. Aww. So, I'm so uh, excited. That's not like too much. We all we, we yeah. already know she's doing it, but just to know like they've got her measurements and they're working on it. Yeah. So that's cool. Building it from the ground. Up. Uh, so uh, is there anything else we want to talk about from Marvel before we jump over to Fox and uh, start talking about the wonders of the Fantastic Four movie? This is what everyone's been waiting for all last week. They were like, "Why aren't the guys here to talk about their thoughts?" So I think. Uh -huh. I think we have to give them what they want. Right, this is rebuilding after that experience. <laughs> I know. <laughs> let's jump in. Uh, so Fantastic Four dropped sixty nine percent at the box office in oh, one that's week. Amazing. I think uh, that was more than the Hulk. Yeah, first yeah, the, yeah. the Ang Lee Hulk dropped fifty nine percent. This one was a sixty nine percent. And this opened at like Ghost Rider two levels. It's like the yeah. biggest flop of the open, and then Good. to drop more. You know what? Yeah. Let me let me say as a precursor before we talk about Fantastic Four, the man from Uncle made less money. Which is a shame because I yeah. because I saw it and I was like, but I realized why it, it made no money. It's not because it was a bad film. The, it's because it was called The Man from Uncle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they think that people are like, well, we got this amazing series. It's like Zorro. Mm -hmm. Nobody mm -hmm. gives a fuck about Zorro yeah, anymore. It's like, and it's just yeah. deep reference. Yeah, it's just way too old. And it's like The Man from Uncle, no one except for your grandparents saw The Man from Uncle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The and and your, gran man. your grandparents yeah. aren't like excited to go to the movies anymore, no, probably. Yeah. Like, they should Every have few, like, anything else. Yeah. yeah. It could guys, have been, Army Hammer's doing Laverne yeah. and Shirley. Are you guys saying, let's make this Laverne and Shirley movie? Let's do it. Because it was a fun film. And I just think there was, once again, it was like that kind of mishandling like oh it's called the man from uncle we have to keep that name and then when the people who put together the marketing they didn't know how to market it so yeah. there was no Hor marketing horrible for trailers it. none mm -hmm. of the trailers worked so it was like one of those john carter sequences like where you're like cut off from mars because nobody wants to see a fucking movie from mars that's the dumbest i mean it's just yeah. so yeah. so wrong headed well look these these mars movies all failed Mars needs women. They, like, it's just like, you have the dumb, like, I'm 23 and I'm a fucking dumb ad executive who somehow, I now I'm in charge of everything. Yeah. Because people are afraid and shitting their pants, want to keep their jobs. Get him. He was successful last year. And that's how these fucking idiots fall forward <laughs> into these big jobs where they have decision making powers, yet have no knowledge. Yeah. Or knowledge of history or mm -hmm. no common sense. So they just make these weird decisions. Like, well, for my bean counting statistics, all the films with Mars have been failures. So, <laughs> If we cut that off and make it sound like, you know, get Carter or something, you know, it's like, it should have just been called Bob Fibbins. <laughs> it probably would have made more money than John Carter. This Taylor is, Lautner's abs. The yeah. movie. If no, they they just That's true. Yeah. It's just, it's just, it's just it's somebody's Lautner fucking abs. dumb name. Lautner abs. A name. Well, and I bet if they just called it Uncle, like with a weird spelling, people are like, oh, yes. that's interesting. Because it was really yeah. fun. Or yeah. Man From. Guy Ritchie. Or man from. Just Man yeah. From. That's true. Man, man From where? I've got to go find out. That sounds like a monster from Jack Kirby. Man From. Man from as came as from man the man from Mars. <laughs> yeah. Man from Mars, no one would see it apparently. And right. also, we can't we can't blame any other movie for opening less than Straight Outta Compton this weekend. That was Let's so just, good. Straight Outta Compton, still haven't seen it. Really strong film. It's a fun uh, film. Really well. Mm -hmm. I mean, the timing. Everything I've heard is amazing. Doctor yeah. Dre could not have timed that movie. Yeah, to drop it's a so, album yeah. called mm -hmm. Compton. All this all time. Well, he dropped an album yeah. called yeah. Compton while we're dealing with right. actual police brutality right. issues, mm -hmm. which need to be addressed in a movie about the NWA. Sign me up. And what's fantastic is his proceeds are going to build. I love that. Yeah. A, uh, like an art school in Compton. And you know what's yeah. weird? Like a lot of complaints about mm -hmm. uh, Straight Outta Compton is like, you know, it's not showing the real violence or it's not showing all the real story. It's like, 
I think they showed at least eight. The MC Ren was like it's eighty percent true. It's like yeah. I mean, how much do you want from an autobiography? Look at like all these other autobios that are, are like it's completely two hours fake. And Forty minutes, like yeah. you show more. I, well, and they a lot of people also were complaining about like, well, the first you know two thirds of it are great, and the mm-hmm. last third it just everything fell apart, or it felt like <laughs> someone else made it, or it just all too fast. And it's like, like their life. Well, yeah. no, it's also like they are not a group anymore. So now we're following their individual exploits, and then you know there's got to they have to end it somewhere. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I liked it. I thought it was, it was a. a and really I liked, and Man from Uncle should be seen. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I agree. I, also think. I, I know we're supposed to talk about Fantastic Four, but I had to talk Sorry, about that. Do I had really? to. I have All so right. many things to say about Compton that we should do a separate we podcast. Do a podcast. Yeah. Compton yeah. Uncle yeah. podcast. Yeah, straight out of Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> straight, straight out, out of Marvel. Wakanda. Yeah. Uh, Fantastic Four. What do you guys think? Get, take take uh, it and run. Uh, take well, it and run. The lack of second act was troublesome. I've never actually seen a movie where I I went into that movie expecting nothing, as I should have, and then I wanted to like it. The first act, I was confused. Like, mm-hmm. I'm enjoying this. How am I enjoying this? What's going on? And I was like, maybe I, I just enjoy Marvel enough. And then the second act wasn't there, and then the third act was so laughably bad, I didn't know where to pinpoint what was wrong. Like... Miles Teller was giving line readings that looked like he was reading off a teleprompter mm-hmm. at times. Kate Mara's reshoot wig was so distracting, and the fact oh, that oh, it was so bad. We could see which scenes were reshot because of that wig, and the reshoots were like seventy percent of the runtime. Jamie Bell did what he could with what he had, and I actually yeah. tip my hat for what he had to deal with. And and they're all incredible actors. Each and every one of them was so talented. And Michael B. Jordan was neutered. How is the Human Torch not funny? How do you not yeah. have the Human Torch drop jokes? And how is Doctor Doom a glowing crash test dummy wrapped in plastic? This yeah. is Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom mm-hmm. is not a stiff, not moving, like telekinetic. What was his powers? Why could he explode heads? I don't what happened with everything? Why could he explode heads and then not explode heads? How did this explode? Like he's head? fighting yeah. people, blowing people's heads up, and then he's fighting the Fantastic Four and not blowing, no, not how, blowing up their heads. I don't heads. know how he got Omega level powers. He's not Jean Grey. No. What did he? Yeah, like yeah. he was like all of a sudden he became like the Phoenix Force. He's yeah. just like I can blow up heads he and I you a, can't shoot me. Well, like, the green stuff on the planet was clearly spinach and it was a Popeye tie-in. So when he <laughs> came back, he had this great year uh, long. Burp, 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 burp. But nothing made sense. Nothing was explained, and the first act had such potential that I almost believe the Josh Trank stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I actually have faith yeah. that it was a different movie. because well, it, it, it is. The reshoots were insane. It just doesn't yeah. fit together. Like, you know, I went and saw it, like, after everyone had trashed it, and it was, yeah, like, at a 9% me. on Rotten yeah. Tomatoes. I was like, <laughs> well, wow. Well, All right, well, and, I, and, you know, Fantastic Four, for me, it's my first comic as a really? kid. Yeah. As a little kid, because I was into Monsters and Godzilla, mm-hmm. so my dad got me the Fantastic Four, and that was my first superhero comic. So, Fantastic Four was your gateway drug in yeah. the comics. And so I, I've always loved the Fantastic Four, and I bought all those uh, reprints, Marvel's greatest comics. That's yeah. how, that's why my love for Jack Kirby came about, is like just into that styling of the way comic books were drawn back then. So, for me, the Fantastic Four, all of these movies, starting with the Corman one, and then the two jokey so Tim Story ones. Yeah, I mean... I mean, there's and there's parts of all of those movies that are that like moments that are yeah. like okay, they they nailed. Yeah. I can see that. I can see and that. And you're yeah. like, I think in every superhero film, there's like a one ten second sequence. Even Dolph Lundgren's The Punisher, there's like ten second sequence. Where you're like, now that yeah. one moment, they got it. Sort of vaguely captured of the rest of it's garbage. But this one, se- <laughs> so it's like I sometimes buy a fu- you know science fiction film. Yeah, I'll buy them just. Like, I have, like, a whole bunch of science fiction films that you might consider garbage, but I'm like, yeah, but this one scene. There's this one part. Trust me, bro. And believe me, I don't have to watch the whole movie. I could watch that one scene. Yeah. It's cool, and it's in my library. But speaking about the Fantastic Four, this film, like, I went and saw it, like, you, with after hearing that, oh, it's horrible, this, that. And then I'm watching it, and I felt like, what are they talking about? Yeah, like the first act. This movie's pretty good. And, (laughs) And I, and, and. And I knew that, I was like, I knew things are going to fall apart, because I already read, you know, you can't not, especially if you're like, I don't give a fuck about spoilers. I'll read yeah. every spoiler, yeah. and then yeah. I'll see a movie and judge for myself. I have enough confidence in my own sure. mind to make up my own decisions. But <laughs> um, the, it just does, it really, it completely... It falls apart. In a way I've never seen. It's because, like, but it's, it's, it was, it was a film that was hijacked in its inception. It's right. a film that, like... The people who are in charge of this film are obviously not the same people who are in charge of the Fox X Men franchise. Or yeah. Deadpool. Yeah. Or Deadpool. It's a different group of fucking idiot producers. If they trusted <laughs> Frank like yeah. they're trusting Tim Miller on yeah. Deadpool, we could have had a great Fantastic Four movie. It would have been a body horror, that. different, weird it Fantastic been a, film. A Cronenberg. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fantastic well, and like, and that's the thing is like, we we got 
we got maybe like seven or eight minutes of Cronenberg. And it was beautiful. And it was, I was like, oh my, like after the first act where you're like, all right, this is like, I don't understand why everyone is trashing this right. movie. Like, yeah. like maybe I'm just like a Marvel fanboy. So like I'm biased. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I came in with lowered expectations. So like, Shiny. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not hating it like everyone else right. who came in like expecting like the second coming, but like, I'm like, this isn't bad. And then like they get to the Cronenberg stuff. I'm like, oh my God, this is intense. Like, where's this gonna go? Yeah. And it's like, one year later. And it's like, oh, Zack Snyder took over the film. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. Bye now, bye the movie, I yeah. enjoyed you. And yeah. When we were talking about it last and week. And by the way, that's not a yeah. trash on Zack no. Snyder. He's a good director, but like, it was just a completely different shift. feel. Yeah. It was just yeah. a tonal shift, right. yeah. Well, and that was something when we were talking about it last week, you said, and you know, it was one of those movies that the more you thought about it, the more you hated it. Yeah, yeah, and no, it's like, absolutely I, it is. Like, I had to go wash my brain after seeing it. I went home and watched 2005's Fantastic Four on purpose. I, never I almost I'd did. Say that I sentence. almost did. I, you know what? I enjoyed. It. I think they got Uwe Boll to direct the last, <laughs> the last third of it because it was like there was no, there was not a like oh a different auteur mm -hmm. came over and no, and no, no. It was like just a, 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 a like they were like. Hey, you, what are you doing? I'm sweeping the floor. I'm the janitor. Get over here and direct the rest of this movie. And do what I say because I'm a useless fucking producer. You know, it's like these weird people who've never read comics like before. A or seen a movie. Yeah. Yeah. Or seen a movie that are like, well, it needs to have some kind of action scene. Have Doom, like, float and then have him <laughs> yell. And or, yeah, it's like, well, no, it's, 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 the, it's that whole, like, thing going back to, like, the producer who wanted a giant spider in Superman Returns right. yeah. or whatever. And, like, Kevin Smith was like, you what? No, mm -hmm. no, no. Well, I don't understand is well, how they got such good actors to do such bad delivery of lines that were so badly written that they must not have signed on to that script. I cannot see any of those caliber actors being like, this will go well. it's because it got changed. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's I mean. Like, like, yeah. yeah. Seeing that, that transparently was the most apparent use of studio abuse I've mm -hmm. ever seen. Yeah. Which is a shame because Fox yeah. is killing with Deadpool. Like, uh, I don't understand. And, this well, is, and this the X-Men movies are so good, too. Well, yeah. and this is Fox reminding us, like, oh, wait, we still don't have all of it together. We we can still pull Wolverine Origins on you guys at any given time. <laughs> right. It, it, yeah, we'll never not be yeah. able to do that. We'll I do like that Wolverine all the time. Origins more than this. Yeah. Uh, you know yeah. what? I would have to see Wolverine Origins again. I just yeah, remember like, hating that. that, too. It's like the weird CG Professor X thing. Oh, Get God. into my shuttle! <laughs> you know, it's like, what is this Why movie? Why is this happening, yeah. Patrick Stewart? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you know what? It's, it's really strange. Like, why? I think p people who aren't who aren't going to be critical or who aren't critics or dissect mm -hmm. films or mm -hmm. who just went to go see Fantastic Four, like, I, was like, I just want to see the Fantastic Four. And then they see this movie. They're not thinking about all these things that we're thinking about. Yeah, you're right. What they're doing mm -hmm. is just experiencing it and then seeing it, and then that's why you hate it at the end because you're like, it did, it totally did the wrong thing. It fell apart. Yeah. and imploded on itself, and then had the shittiest ending where they're like all like hanging out at their new fucking. Oh, club. Dude, the end. Oh, my my two oh, favorite wow. moments. My two oh. favorite moments are the moment I knew the movie was going to go downhill was when I knew he was called Victor Domashev, and then they cut to a piece of paper. We're like Victor Von Doom, and it was clearly like they <laughs> insert Doom, and someone off camera every time they said doom it was off camera yeah. they're like yeah. doom what and then at the end of the movie they're like how do we get our name and he's like <laughs> I got it. I know. What? Yeah. I and they know. were just hanging out the It, it yeah. worked for Age of Ultron where he's like Avengers yeah. and it yeah. cuts off yeah. but it didn't work here. No. Not at And no. I think there, it's a difference of like Age of Ultron earned it for whatever its problems mm -hmm. were, whatever else, they earned that ending where you're just like yeah Avengers should have said why I say it come on but right. like Fantastic Four did not earn that ending. It felt out of tone where it's like, Absolutely. guys, I've got it. And they're like, tell it to us, tell it to us. Okay, hold on. Well, because you're not working towards a happy ending. Yeah. You're yeah. like about to, about to, and then you don't. Yeah. Like, and this movie didn't feel like we'd ever climax. Well, it just also, didn't have anything going for it. Everything yeah. that was in the trailers is not in the movie. And that's yeah. Yeah, even the weirder. The, I mean, everything. Even the, the Reed yeah. Richards and Doctor Doom. What's coming? Change is coming. Not that. That's yeah. not coming. Yeah, that's, that's not, not coming. in the fucking movie. <laughs> and like the entire thing actually yeah, said All piece, of it. None yeah, of that's none of that. in there. And yeah. you know it's where they're like, well, budgetarily we didn't have the money to... But you I clearly used, designed it's it. It's in the trailer. Whatever it's budgetarily. It's in the trailer. You made it. showed it in the background. There's so many scenes where there's like action happening in TV screens. I'm like, yeah. guys, you clearly shot something. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Cut to full yeah. screen it's on that, right you there. morons. Like, what are you yeah. doing showing this movie where people are talking about action? I, I've never seen a, a superhero movie that advertised it as an action movie, then a drama, then an action movie, that released it with one action set piece that was awful. Yes. Yeah. How did that happen? I, I, I legitimately amazing. feel bad for Trank, too. Because yeah. Like, oh, yeah. He's I'm not sure, going like, to work for a... Well, he's not. Like, this is going to hurt jail. him for oh. a long time. Oh. And, like, I really don't feel like 
Like, maybe some of it was his fault, but, like, it would be his fault in the same way that it would be any other director's fault for making, like, like they're, this a, it's a work of art for anyone, and an artist are going to make mistakes. And so it's like, a huge commentary that on could be, Yeah, <laughs> like, but, yeah. like, that can be forgiven. Like, mistakes can be forgiven. What happened with him is he had his movie, like, shanghai by yep. executives who didn't trust him for whatever reason, and we'll probably never see whatever cut he made. No. That's yeah, there won't, the story, be, there won't but... be a director's cut, mm -hmm. but you know, when they, when they hire like two different directors behind someone's back, that's what I heard. It's like, yeah, and mm -hmm. not he's so, I mean, it's like obviously they were like, well, look, we don't trust what you're doing, you know, but, then, but they still bought it, they still signed off on it at some point. So at one time, like, so was there an executive shuffle and like these new execs came in to like, what is this, or like. Like what happened? Yeah. Like, it's a mess. With, what is interesting to me is that they didn't want he didn't want Miles Teller for a fantastic. I mean, he mm -hmm. wanted Miles Teller for a fantastic. The studio want, didn't. Yeah. He didn't want Kate Mara, and you can almost feel that at points in the yeah. movie. And that's not appropriate. Like that's yeah. not how you yeah. direct actors. If a studio is the money, you have to respect that. Sure. But then the studio not respecting you as a director is another problem altogether. And then this movie yielded all the worst of all those possible scenarios. Right. Yeah. yeah. Everyone you have to was work fighting together. That's, that's yeah. what making movies is all about. Like it's not just compromise, but it's everyone on the same page. And 2015 you know? is the age of transparency. That mm -hmm. Twitter that he should never have yep. tweeted. Yep. All the articles were reading about EW. All these people coming out from the crew that are saying what insane things were happening on set. Right. He was like hiding in a tent and watching dailies. Like you can't do that in this day and age and expect to get away with it. So yeah. I don't think he'll work again. Oh, he yeah. will. He will. I mean, not soon. I mean, yeah. like in the I next five, I mean, 10 years. Believe me, he'll he'll probably have a job in the next year. You think? Yeah, because it's like it's not. He did a movie called Chronicle, he did. which it's was amazing. pretty fantastic. So that's the whole reason he got Fantastic Four. Right. This movie's obviously been meddled with. It's a giant. Hard. Mm -hmm. Giant failure, giant bomb. A lot of things didn't work right on it. He all he has to do is make one kick-ass indie film right. in the next and two come years. Back, yeah. and it's all, it's all forgotten. And I think, Miles Teller, he's great. And I think that's important is going back for him into that indie, you know, area yeah. where he's comfortable because that's that's the other thing too is with these superhero films. As much as it's cool to direct them, you have to understand what you're signing away mm -hmm. in terms of yeah. creativity and, you, and time as well. Yeah. You know, three to four years, like that's why he's not doing Star Wars. Mm -hmm. It was probably a. A combination mm -hmm. of you know, Kinberg is working yeah. on both, and there's problems and this yep. and that, and then you realize oh, I'm am signing on to another four years of possible nope. meddling and yeah. weird, you know. Yeah, so it makes sense. Go watch Chronicle. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, it's just a mess. It's just, just crowdsource Chronicle too. Yeah, let's get people that going. will pay for that. Yeah, yeah, and it was so disappointing because the first mm -hmm. act was so good. You're like, not so good, but you're like, the first, first act was, was really was, not eight percent. This is this is yeah. this, was, this, <laughs> was, this <laughs> was fun. Enjoying this popcorn. Yeah. Then well, one year the later, and you're like, turned into oh, bugs. Oh, 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 what am I doing? They must and eat the, the bugs butt first. No, <laughs> they're all still alive. <laughs> ah, yeah. And then the third act is the bugs crawling out of you and oh, eating you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How did I get digest here? them? They're still alive. <laughs> <laughs> You look like that Doctor Doom. Yeah. And that's yes. how you end up looking like that Doctor yeah. Doom. Yeah. Uh, so my writer... cape is made of bugs. <laughs> <laughs> the writer of Chronicle, uh, Max, uh, wrote the first four pages of his pitch mm. of Fantastic Four and published them. He's wrote a whole script, but mm -hmm. the first four are online. If you want to see that, which could have been the Chronicle Fantastic Four, we almost got Check them out online. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. They're awesome. We'll, we'll have Landis we'll on have eventually, Max on soon, hopefully. Yeah. 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 Uh, so well, Max Landis, doesn't he write like 400 screenplays every day? Max's script he, like he a, is a whirling Max dervish will talk of creativity. To you and be writing. Max will be like <laughs> having this conversation and typing in his phone and yeah. be like, oh, I just wrote this dialogue scene that's incredible. Do you want to read it? And you're like, yeah. bro, we were talking. Yeah, yeah he's, no, a, he's I, a fun that, guy. That guy, yeah. like, I, he met with me a, a couple years ago just to talk screenwriting and, and writing in general. He's like, how many screenplays have you written? I was like, ah, like, run, like two, three, four. He's like, no, you're not, you're not there yet. And I was like, Wait, but that's so much work. He goes, dude, <laughs> I wrote like a hundred screenplays before I got a manager to look at me, and I wrote another hundred before they signed me. I was like, he is so prolific. Oh dude. god, I'm so screwed. Yeah. And he just cranks them out, man. He, yeah, and, and they're that guy's a consistent. genius. Yeah. They're really good. Like, that guy's a genius. I can't well, that's why, yeah, that's why I'm looking forward to uh, American Ultra. Yeah, this you know? weekend, see American Ultra. Yeah, it's, it's, see American it's Ultra. An original idea, guys. They still make them. Wait, an original movie? I don't know. What? What that Blasphemy. Is. What yeah. is that witchcraft? It's not based yeah. off anything but an idea. No. Yeah, I can't. Be true. No. We can't have it, you guys. <laughs> it's it's secretly a remake of some 1950s, uh, you know, it's some romance Cold film. War film. It's like a documentary of Kristen mm -hmm. Stewart and Jesse Eisenberg. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's it's a remake of uh, the Man from Ant, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> Get out. Uh, yeah, yeah, get yeah. out. I'm glad out, you yeah. threw yourself out there. <laughs> There's a first. Uh, so, uh, Fantastic Four, we're, we're, we've gotten all the vitriol out. We need to move on. Yes, I think we can. Uh, all right. So, uh, Hugh Jackman is talking Sabretooth and Berserker Rages. He was talking to the Daily Telegraph. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember a couple weeks ago, he, he tweeted out like wanting fan suggestions for what they wanted. Uh, he said there were lots of calls for Victor Creed to come back. Uh, and there were lots of uh, calls for Berserker Rage uh, yeah. to come out. So I don't know if that means they're definitely putting it into the film. 
Uh, but uh, then, like, uh, he tweeted out at uh, Liv, Liv Schreiber something about, like, getting back to work and getting into shape for right. Wolverine. Nice. And Liv Schreiber was like, is it live or leave? Leave. Is it leave? I'm saying it wrong. Sorry, Mr. Schreiber. Yeah. Uh, Liv Schreiber's like, oh, do I have to? And a lot of people are taking that to mean, like, oh, he's saying, like, do I got to do that? Because I know I actually have to. So mm-hmm. there, that, it's all speculation. It's not actual news. We don't know what's coming up. But uh, I would love to see Sabretooth back. Oh, and yeah. I've been dying for uh, a Berserker But I think rage. Yeah. that's why that I believe that yeah. it'll be Liv Schreiber, because they didn't say Sabretooth. They said Victor Creed. Yeah. Yeah. He was never called Sabretooth in yeah. the movie, mm-hmm. the Origins movie. Oh, that's yeah. a good point. That's a very good point, yeah. yeah. Uh, so going along with that, we also have Patrick Stewart was talking about being in uh, Wolverine three, uh, and uh, let's uh, he uh, I would be happy to do uh, into old age with more X Men. Uh, something tells me from what I've read that Hugh uh, said it may be over soon. I don't know what the studio would think about that. We'll see. He's a terrific character, but I'm looking forward to if what I've been told is true, a different version of Charles. So he will be playing a different version of Charles Xavier in uh, Wolverine three. Huh. I don't know huh. what that means. He's got adamantian legs. <laughs> he's, he's cruising along. He's walking guys. around. Yeah, They're going to put a wig on him and he's going to be Cassandra Nova. <laughs> oh. oh. I would watch that yes. so hard. It's uh, the reverse Tilda Swinton. Yeah. Well, like, well my, you switched up. My, my favorite is that he then, in the same interview, Patrick Stewart went on to say, and the idea of an old Wolverine talking about old man Logan, I'm really looking forward to seeing Hugh Jackman getting old. Uh, you know, damn him. He looks so great, but I'm happy to see him covering on prosthetics, you know? So it sounds like Patrick Stewart has also heard the rumor the of Old Man Logan, yeah. Yeah. Right. which could be an alternate universe thing, and that yeah. could be why Xavier is different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Be, the Old Man Logan is not going to be anything like the comic book. There's no, no way they own any billion that. rights issues. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. like Hawkeye's is like yeah. his bro, and like yeah. Hawkeye doesn't. Like, clearly, one of my favorite and they drive the spider buggy, don't they? And the yeah. Hulk's are the say, villains. My favorite thing is spider buggy. It's like I've never seen that in a comic book. And Hulk's yeah. the big bad. So how do you possibly like? Right. What's the, the antagonist? The mutant hillbilly hulks. And you're like, that's far right. Yeah, dude, you know? go for it. Yeah, man. that is terrifying. I wish Ang Lee made that as a movie. <laughs> yeah, the hillbilly hulks. That. George yeah. Miller's yeah. Old Man Logan. Yeah. Oh, Mad Max meets Old Man Logan. Yeah. Starring yeah. Mel Gibson as Old Man Logan. What do you guys yes. What do you guys think? I know this is a Marvel show. What do you guys think about George Miller directing Man of Steel 2? Is that going to change? Oh, you, sign you me up, man. Yeah. Oh. No, I would, I would. I would. Yeah. I'd pre-order my tickets A little now. bird mm-hmm. told me that's happening. So. I, well, really? We had yeah. the Justice League that was so close to existing. I would. Yeah. So I'd be all about it. That would. I mean, I haven't. I, I love the Nolan Batman films. Yeah. They're my favorite. And that would bring me back to the DC movie universe. Yeah. I think, I mean, because a lot of people remember he was on set on Batman yeah. v Superman. And people were like, maybe he's going to do Aquaman. Sorry. He's going to yeah. do Man of Steel. He's Man of Steel too, because Zack Snyder's doing mm-hmm. Justice, Justice League stuff. Yeah. So oh it'd be like gosh. a phase transfer yeah. kind of yeah. yeah. to Whedon. I'd love if George yeah. Miller yeah. handled that on DC. Yeah. Oh, I'd be yeah. yeah. I, mean, I would be all about that. I'd transfer. That's exciting. I'd be on the DC show a lot more. Right? <laughs> if ever. I'd well, be so excited. I wouldn't be on their show. I'm just those kidding. guys those watching guys. now. I love those guys. Uh, they'll be coming up right guys, after. Guys, they're us. all comic books. Why can't I know? Why can't we all get along? I'm trying, man. I'm starting. I'm reading DC I'm now. I'm getting into it. I'm trying. Uh, I'm, I'm excited for Aquaman. I'm just gonna say that. But I love. You DC know what? I just I'm one of those people who do I do not want it to be called Aquaman. No. What do you want it to be called? King of Atlantis. Oh. Yeah. Okay. There's like they call it Man of Steel. Yeah. There's like yeah. instead of yeah. Super, Superman. So I mean I know it's called Super Super Superman. Superman. Yeah. Steel King of Atlantis. Yeah. 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 It's mm-hmm. just Aquaman is Waterman. Yeah. yeah. It bothers me inherently just language wise. I was like well, I because it also superhero, it, it locks him Superman. down mm-hmm. to like yeah. Aqua. It just, it's goofy. Yeah, it is. It's straight up dumb. And it doesn't work in the world <laughs> they've up built. Dumb. Yeah. Yeah. It's like if he came out, it's like, you know, uh, I'm I'm the king of Atlantis or whatever, however he feels. How he's going to talk. He, he would never call himself that. That's yeah. Someone else yeah. would be, introduce him as the king of Atlantis. Uh, yeah, I De- like well, Batman's like, detective I, of greatness. <laughs> 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 They're all of titles. Yeah. I, I, love I loved uh, Jeff Johns' run on Aquaman too, where oh he like, he acknowledged the whole world was like, "Wait, you're yeah. Aquaman," and then right. he was like a badass. Yeah. Like I He's loved like, it. So check this and out. Je- and Jeff Johns is killing it as a TV writer. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. I just like on yeah. the plane, yeah. I watched. I hadn't watched Flash yet, and I was like, everyone's like, "It's really good." And it's, I was like, "Yeah, it's, it's really good. It's really good." I watched it in the first five episodes, and all my friends are like, "Those are the worst of the whole." They said the first five are the worst of the. I was like, I can't what? wait to watch the other 15 now. Yeah. DC TV is incredible. Uh, I, yeah. I consistently vouch for DC TV. Yeah. Arrow's so. been great. Uh, Flash was amazing. Robbie's awesome as Firestorm. Go, Robbie. Yeah. yeah. Your, so, your friend. Yeah. Your friend. So, uh, so let's jump over to X Men Apocalypse, where we got a rumor this week that Blob might be appearing in X Men Apocalypse. Why not? Yeah. So Why not? excited. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Perfect. Everyone uh, is. He killed it in so Wolverine well. Origins. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Can't wait. Uh, yeah. uh, so, what, so, according to this, apparently it's a. Uh, 
like French Canadian dude who is 540 pounds. Amazing. Well, so there are no prosthetics. Like, yeah. The, yeah. They're going to find the guy. They're finding yeah. a real fat wow. man. So, yes. like, they, they had a, this, I don't know who this guy is, but he visited this set and he got, like, a little necklace or whatever and uh, Instagrammed. It was like, I can't believe I got to see these guys and these guys and this was awesome. Oh, and Blob was there, too. And everyone's like, wait, what? What? Wow. How does this not violate every NDA in the history of you know filmmaking? What? Like you this... know what? It's one of those scenes, like, Blob was there. He's going to be like, yep. you know those yep. X-Men Days of mm -hmm. Pass where he had one, yeah. yeah. And, he, <laughs> and he, might, he might say, like, you know, eating a fucking triple cheeseburger. Yeah, like, I don't agree himself. with you. <laughs> Shut up, Blob, or they say his real name. Yeah. Whatever the Blob's uh, real name is. Fred, Fred, Fred Dukes, I yeah. think. Yeah. yeah. Listen, Dukes. You know, I've had enough of you and your clown antics. Or, and, oh, yeah. well, Someone's trying to push him. Well, it's it's, right. it's <laughs> almost the exact same thing that they did in uh, the Wolverine movie. Yeah. yeah. Was it, that well, was Origins, right? It, he he was, was like a boxer. And, like, mm -hmm. But I don't he, think had he, had at, like, he had two scenes. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like it, he's probably not even gonna have that. They'll much give him Colossus pocket. and X Men One treatment, where he's just gonna be like painting, but yeah, well, instead, yep. like I, it actually makes sense to have him appear because if they end up doing anything Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, right? Yeah. You know, I think yeah. I think I think he'll have maybe a a, a sizable cameo because I don't works. see a five hundred and forty pound man doing much. Here's, in yes. here's a big so one. Probably sitting around. Do you think Taylor Swift is Dazzler in? We hope so. I mean, yeah. we've I, I, I that. heard that it's not the right. case. I heard that like Simon Kinberg. I think that's who the picture was with, uh, is just a giant fan of Taylor Swift mm -hmm. and went to the concert and got a picture with her backstage. But doesn't it make total it sense? Oh my God. It's I the would, 80s. They could go it. to a club and she could just be on in the background. I would like a weird it. roller derby scene. And like just lights exploding lights all around exploding. her and she's it's just like shooting them. The oh. perfect cameo. Yeah, yeah. I would love it. And like they don't do anything with it. They're just like, hey, what's up? And there's a. There's Dazzler. Yeah. She's on stage dancing with Blob. That's so weird. Like, <laughs> I, I, I didn't see that I, I mean, I sure. miss in the 80s movies where they had the current pop stars of the day on as like the, like, you know, like a in character Thunderdome? in the right, right. Yeah, I would love if T-Swift was just our little, like, pop in time. So I can look back in 20 years like, Taylor Swift. That was a yeah. weird thing. <laughs> that, was, that was a thing that I happened. I need that in my life. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, yeah, we've, I'm the blob. Uh, God, I really hope he looks like that and wears oh, that outfit. Me too. Yeah, if he is really so like 550 pounds, you can yeah. probably punch your fist into his blubberiness and it will hold on. <laughs> yeah. it, hold it will it. hold. It will hold. Yeah. yeah. You might have to have him separate his fat folds and then put your hand <laughs> into one of the folds. No CGI that would be all extra no moist and wet if it's all real. Sweaty. Yeah, sweaty. We did it all practical. That's a, that's a different yeah. kind of sweat. Uh, I, I think you get like that's extra sweat of a different moisture. I think you get like super sweat stuff. Stunt paper, though, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like double double, double sale, stunt wet pants, stunt pay. That's yeah. golden hour and double time combined. <laughs> yeah. Put your hand into the moldy, moist uh, oh, flesh pocket. Get inside that man. <laughs> <laughs> Crawl inside the blob. <laughs> fold, fold your fists inside of his folds. His folds are for you. <laughs> this is why it's Hugh Jackman's last run as Wolverine. Yeah. Like, yeah. They said I had to put my fist in a man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. They made me fist a 540 pound It's not a special effect. It's totally real. Okay. All practical. Moving on. It's fully three. practical. Yeah. Moving on. Uh, so <laughs> jumping over to Netflix real quick. Uh, we've got uh, John Bernthal was mm -hmm. uh, seen on set uh, as the Punisher. Uh, I mean, it's awesome. Yes. Yeah. Just awesome to see. Like, we're getting Suck. a Punisher. We're getting Punisher. And we're getting Punisher for like 13 Look episodes. Him. Look at how amazing he looks. He's he, just looks like, like some... he looks like the John Romita Jr. Yeah. Yeah. He's got Perfect that for yeah. me. Crunchy nose, <laughs> yeah. thickness. His face. Is he also the dog? <laughs> he's he, John Bernthal's wow. an amazing oh my God. actor. <laughs> yeah, he's a phenomenal actor. actor. Well, and I couldn't, I couldn't get the pictures, but uh, when the vest is off, the yeah. sweat stains look like the skull. No. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's yeah, how it is. Awesome. If, if you go to just Jared and look it up, you'll, you can see it. But it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty spectacular. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm really looking forward to season two. They're going to yeah. also introduce Elektra, and they're probably going to have a little more crossover mm -hmm. with yeah. uh, Jessica Jones and Luke yeah. Cage. So, uh, And then Jessica Jones episode titles leaked. Uh, I don't want to give them out because I'm afraid of spoilers, whatever. But you can find them online if you just type in Jessica Jones episode. You can't tell so, them to us right now? Uh, I, I I chose not to, uh, so I don't have them written right. down. I can find them real quick, but uh, uh, yeah, they, I just, I they just haven't heard of them. Yet. I know. And you have, you haven't heard them? No, 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 they announced, but I didn't click on it. But I, I like I said, I, yeah, I don't care. I'm well, okay. I want to. Spoilers we, make me want to see things more. We, yeah. Well, we also uh, are at the forty minute mark, and we've got to uh, push on to D twenty three talk right, real well, quick. I'll so look at it like you, Rubes. <laughs> uh, sorry, guys. <laughs> so uh, Meredith is going to lead a I'm quick discussion on D twenty three real fast. Real quick, Matt Key is going to 
lose himself when he sees Doctor Strange. I've, I've heard that it looks like it's, that. Yeah. So is that, um, is that true? So there has been nothing shot yet. They don't start shooting until yeah, December. But, but they did a concept art trailer. We do see the red cloak. We see some muted colors Does in his suit. This? Does it, it has yes. this? Yes. And does it's, it have the eye? Did, I, eye. did you see the eye? I didn't see the eye. I didn't see the eye. But the eye has to be there. He probably yeah, maybe he has to get the eye. Yeah. He because he has I'm to sure go in and of become that's friends true. with Akamato. Yeah. Remember, it's a living entity. Also, that's true. That's, that's probably going to be augmented CG, so they don't want to reveal just some. Yeah. All right, that's so true. you saw it, and you know about the DC, or I'm sorry, the yeah. Marvel Universe. Yes. Because I, I, was, I was talking to people who've never read Doctor Strange, yeah. and they're like, I saw all these cool things. The fools. Like, the fools! Now, were the mindless ones in there? In like, in the, when we went into the other realms and they showed artwork. Okay, there is so much phenomenal stuff that I couldn't take note because I'm not the big Doctor Strange oh, okay. fan, so I actually have only started reading Doctor Strange because of him. Okay. Um, but we see Baron Mordor. Mordor. Right. Uh, Mordo. 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 By, Mordo. Played by... I Baron Mordo, played Mordo. by Shia Wattel Ejiofor. Yeah. We see, um, oh God, like, uh, the, I will say, it looks like the concept art of Tilda is going to be as a woman. Nice. Uh, we definitely yeah. saw that, so that's looking pretty fantastic. Yeah. Um, what color was the bolt at the end that they showed? They yeah, showed him yellow. shooting a bolt. Yeah, not, yeah he's got yellow. yellow. He's got yellow. He's yellow. got yellow. Not bolts, but the energy is coming out of mm -hmm. his hands. Uh, he also mm -hmm. has a trench coat outfit, which looked really. Oh. I actually liked it. It's very much more. Um, kind of remind me of some of the stuff in Secret Wars. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. cool. It looks really fantastic. So that was super quick. Here's a question: the, yeah. the artwork that they showed of his outfit, where there are like three different drawings of. It his... was not the one that was floating. Okay, around. that's okay. what I was wondering. Yeah. 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 I was hoping it was. Yeah, it was not that. At least then I could have yeah. seen it, but yeah, like when I when I saw the reports coming out that like they were like, oh no, it's like original with mm -hmm. the blue and the color. Right. I was yeah. like, that's not what the other what? thing looked like. Yeah, yes. no, it's it, the stuff that I thought had come out of um, South mm. Africa was not. I'm so excited. It was yeah, yeah it was amazing. Um, I wish I, w I would have traded to places if you were with me that day. I would have been like, here I, go. I am still very disappointed that I was not able to get in. Well, you know yeah. what? This footage will eventually, you know, yeah. eventually be released well, in some other at a, some, another yeah. convention or mm -hmm. something else. We'll just have to wait for it. So. I yeah. think I think they want to put a, a trailer. Uh, well, no, it's. I think we'll get a trailer at Civil War. I mean, they'll probably be the yeah, soonest. Yeah, that's so far away. It is. I don't want to wait. <laughs> um, I feel like that. I know, I know it needs to come out. And then, um, but speaking of Civil War, guys, dude. Um, so Feige came out and he. He brought out um, Falcon. Yeah. And then he introduced Chris Evans. They'd flown in the night before from Germany with only a week left. So they're done. They're, as of this point, uh, they're pretty much done. They'll wrap up this weekend. Yeah. Done shooting Civil War. It's all going to be in the can. Um, and then Cap introduced some amazing footage. Like absolutely uh. fucking standing. Sorry, you've got me cursing now. Hey. Um, I know. I try hey, to keep this. Don't fucking blame me. I know. I got this. I got this show going PG. Uh, so first off, we get to see an awesome fight with Crossbones. He's down there. He's taunting um, Falcon and yeah. Cap, and then they go down to fight. Black Widow comes busting in. It's like it's. It's amazing. It's so freaking amazing. She's kind of like I will say she's a little bit secondary. Yeah. It's it's really about Cap and Crossbones. Oh, I know. Cool. I love I love you're so enwrapped on. This is so good. Um, and then uh, we get to see some. We actually kind of get a breakdown of who's going to fall on what side. Really. So pretty much uh, Umberto was pretty much on score with that. Um, you know Tony Stark. He shows up and he's super unhappy about some crap with Cap. Mm -hmm. He's just like I'm done. This is it. Um, Yes. Hello. Oh, t okay. Thank you. Um, that was our ghost, apparently. Better than the fly situation we had last year. Uh, uh, Hawkeye and Black Widow are definitely not seeing eye to eye mm -hmm. at all hey, what's on the, this. What was the dialogue? Like, I heard, I've heard different reports about the dialogue when they're fighting. They're, like, rolling around and... So he's like, "Are we still gonna have dinner?" Is like, or something? Was it jokey? Oh, it was, it was what super was jokey. Because I, 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 I think uh, mm -hmm. I, I read a couple places where they say something like, uh, "Are we still gonna be friends after this?" And yeah. then Hawkeye says, "It depends on how hard you hit me," or something I mean, yeah. like that. Right now, yeah. that sounds better than uh, you know, are, are, you know, as long as yeah, dinner on Friday. Someone it was, said no, it definitely like, wasn't yeah, like that. No. If it was like that, no. I was like, come on, it, man. No, don't do that. It, yeah. it, it was, do it that. was definitely. It reminded me of the comics. It was quippy. Cool. It was totally quippy. It was on point. It wasn't forced like I felt Age of Ultron was. Yeah. It was fantastic. Um, the best part, though, was when Black Panther shows up. How does that Describe that sequence. Please. Black Panther. Tell us in detail. For the people who did um, not see this picture. Um, <laughs> so we get to see him in his entire getup. He, We get to see... I, I'm assuming it's... A, it's it's uh, Chitwell in or uh, Boswick, uh, Chadwick Boseman. I'm assuming it's him in that suit. Looks fantastic. Um, sorry, I'm trying to like go through my notes because you don't know this, but uh, I was in an accident last year and I have really bad short-term memory. Oh wow! Yeah. So, so uh huh. Sorry to hear. Yeah, that. no, it's okay. So that's why I always have to like reference things. Um, but yeah, it's 
Oh, God, I didn't get it. I didn't write it all, my because I was trying to keep super spoiler away. Um, but basically, we do get to see a huge fight scene between them. It's amazing. Oh, everyone thought um, oh. everyone thought Peter was going to show up. He did not. Uh, yeah. So I'm really sorry about that. But I was fooled. I know. He there was, was not there. Oh, yeah, there that, was. And yeah. I was like, oh, I think this might be real. I even uh, posted it to the Marvel news page. I was like, is this real? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got fell a few for people it. Saying, and it was like, like no, an it's Iron not. Spider moment. I was like, I got I got to say, Anthony Mackie is awesome. And, mm-hmm. and I'm yeah, so happy man. he has such a great role yeah. in Ant-Man. Yeah. yeah. Like he has like a couple of scenes in Ant-Man that just almost steal, steal the movie. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. And him, so him on stage, I've seen the footage of him and Chris Evans. And they're like camaraderie and they're bros. Oh, it's amazing. Also, they're total bros. Yeah, it's great. Scarlet Witch is costume guys from the end of Age of Ultron mm-hmm. that we see. Oh. Looks great. Dude, it's amazing. Like, the costumes are so on point for yeah, this. Right. So, yeah, it was it was really good. I'm so sorry I couldn't give a better recap. No, I, I thought I'd written great, better. Great. Um, what's, what's funny is that I ha- I've i barely given the Civil War any thought because I just can't get past Doctor Strange. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I care about. And Honestly, I, for me, like, I'm, I'm ex- as excited mm-hmm. for the Civil War movie as the Batman v Superman film. Yeah. It's like, it's yeah. great that in, I mean, next year, how do great. we beat next year? Deadpool, yeah. it's kind of Deadpool's like, starting it off, so for me, yeah. it's, I, I mean, an it's already crazy. Deadpool. I mean, there's like eight movies next year, and yeah. it's just literally... Uh, hopefully, mm-hmm. at least six of them are incredible. It's cool to have two. <laughs> yeah. I don't mind if two of them suck, as long yeah. as we get six amazing. This year, we only had like uh, three. Three, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And one of them was fantastic. And I kind of. Yeah. <laughs> but I also. We had four, if you want to say Kingsman, because that's based oh, off of the yeah. Secret Service. That was a it's great, a comic book. That yeah. was my favorite film. comic movie this oh, year. Oh, there was so much Kingsman's fun. Kingsman's like, beat everything from yeah. that and Mad Max, my two favorites of the year. Yeah. 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 It makes you sing Free Bird in a different way now. Yeah. Now I just want to see people die when I hear the word. The Artful head yeah, explosions. That's right. Do we, in slow motion. Do we get um, Guardians 2 next year? Is that 2017? No, that's 2017, okay. I believe. Yeah. Same year as we get Spider Man, I think. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, but we start with Deadpool, and then we end with Doctor Strange. Next year's a good year. Good yeah. year. That's Next year's insane, a very good man. year. And yeah. hopefully they take a cue from Deadpool suit for Spider-Man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, Mary. Oh, no, I was, just, I was like, I bet we'll get something. We'll, oh, no, we'll, we'll get Civil War on uh, on um, Star Wars. Never mind. Yeah, yeah definitely. December. Anyway, we yeah. need to start wrapping it up. So uh, uh, I got some shout-outs. Give us some shout-outs. All right, so I wasn't here last week, so I got two weeks of speed shout-outs. Uh, Do I'll, it fast. I want to shout-out to... I am a camera 24, great name. Big Ush, I don't know what that means. Habua, sure. Smef, uh, great review though, Habua. Uh, <laughs> Smef 3Y, it was lengthy and I appreciated it. Very good wording. L Hayden, awesome. Doughboy 129, solid. Uh, Eddie, 3D4M4N. I think you were drunk and just pressed your keyboard a lot. Uh, <laughs> Mexi Dan, strong. And lastly, HDM 1999 Hunter Dink. Yeah, your mother one. was a bald woman. <laughs> I don't wow. know what that naming was, but you're, thank you guys. Those are all great. Uh, you're all really helpful. Like any, even the mm-hmm. stuff that gives us critiques, it really helps us bring a better show to you guys. So uh, keep it up. Yeah, yeah. I love and it. Twitter, I love Twitter. So Twitter oh, yeah. stuffs. We got some great Twitter. Uh, yeah, shout we got out. some great. All right, Twitters. Mocking James, thank you so much, and thank you for tweeting about us. That's super rad. Max mm-hmm. Russell from the UK, love you. Uh, Johnny Cross is back. Uh, we also had Lone Wolf Pack mm-hmm. and uh, Pablo, and want to give a. Big, big happy birthday to Juan. Simply Juan. Simply Juan. Uh, I would also like to point out that Alice at Between the Sheets wrote an awesome review of our show on her website. Uh, what is uh, Between Screens? Mm-hmm. Between the, Screens. Yeah. Did I say What's Between Sheets? What's her boyfriend's sheets? name? Yeah, you did. Between uh, the Sheets. Mark, Mark Shaw, I believe okay. is his name. So we got to shout him out too because he's yeah. a huge fan yeah. as well. Yeah, so shout out to Mark Shaw. Can, can we get a sexy shout out for both of them, Coy? Mark Shaw and what's her name Alice Alice between, Mark yeah, between screens and Alice between the sheets appreciating our show no no sexy, oh, between, sexy the sheets. between the sheets All right. appreciate you guys uh, not really that. I mean you wrote an article about us yeah, that's, that's so that's great. cool and, and you're in the UK so thank you marking, uh, mocking James James Greeny uh, I think you've written reviews for us on the UK iTunes we mm-hmm. haven't gotten them but I know you've been doing it so thank you man and Carlos Rivera uh, shout out to you guys too and happy birthday Juan yeah happy birthday <sighs> Uh, comics that you want to recommend that have come out? Any like <gasps> that, oh, uh, any comic that yeah. you want to recommend? Old, new, current, whatever. I'm currently waiting for issue five of Nameless, which is yeah? Grant Morrison mm-hmm. and Chris Burnham's oh, uh, sci-fi yeah. horror uh, space epic, and it's yeah. uh, it's one of those like when you get a comic book series and then the artist is really slow. Chris Burnham and, and, they're, and they're, they're taking on other they jobs. Make you wait. Chris Burnham and they make you wait. Or really, Chris Burnham fucking finish that goddamn series <laughs> so that I can finish reading it. And then just and you get money, dude. You get collected into a paperback, and all those other nerds are gonna buy it just like me. <laughs> like I spent all the money on the individual issues, and I'm gonna buy, rebuy it. You wow, fucking that's, assholes. That's that's zeal. Wow. Yeah. All right. But that's I would highly recommend that. Okay. And that's a, that's a, that's great a good read. recommendation for me. I still yeah. I have it at home. I just haven't started it yet. Yeah. So. 
Koi? Uh, I'm going to do two Secret Wars books because they're killing it. Uh, I'm really enjoying the Civil War 2. It's really smart. It's handled well. The art's yeah. gorgeous. And it's a great way to imagine the story carried on from the last Civil War. A lot of the Secret Wars I'm loving. I'm loving every one of them, but they don't all feel like the same tone of the old comics that it's sure. based on. This one feels like a continuation. It's sexy. Mm. It's awesome. 1872 is my biggest surprise of Secret Wars because mm -hmm. I expected so little from it and drunk Midwest Iron Man and Captain America as a sheriff are killing it. Great books. And uh, everyone go see American Ultra in theaters this weekend. Yeah. Meredith? Uh, I'm really digging Rat Queens. It's back. Tess Fowler is the new artist on it. She's fantastic. She's also local to us. Oh. So she's super rad. Should have her come um, Yeah. She's in, she's in our, our extended circle. Sure. Uh, also, uh, House of M came out. Um, if you love the original House of M, maybe not pick this one up. Oh, If you expect it to be okay. the same. I'm not saying it's bad. It was, it was a Fair. fun read. Fair. It's just... The characterization of Scarlet Witch is a little too shrewish for me. So, okay. But what they're doing with some of the outside characters, and especially her kids, uh, Billy and uh, Little Speedster, yeah. it's really good. Really, okay. really, you know, it's it's a fun read. The art's a little wonky at times, but uh, what they're doing with it with Magneto is one of the best yeah. I've seen. Okay. So. Uh, I uh, I've been going back and reading the uh, Ultimate Spider-Man series yeah. like from the very very beginning and still one of my favorites. Though. Still just like I'm like I think around issue twenty in like two weeks and I'm just loving it. So I haven't been able to catch up on comics for the last week, but uh, yeah, yeah, Ultimate Spider-Man is what I've been reading and it's nice. great. Anyway, uh, <sighs> Snap, do you have anything you want to say before we close our show out? Yeah, you guys can uh, you can go and uh, either buy a digital download or get a Blu-ray of my movie, The Death of Superman Lives, What Happened, by going to www.td oslwh.com and that just stands for the death of Superman Elizabeth. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, tdoslwh.com. You can find the movie there, digital download or Blu-ray. And you guys can always watch me on Collider Movie Talk. I'm on every day and then I do my Heroes show which you guys have to come on as guests. Yeah, yeah man. absolutely. Anytime. Just, like, cram all of you on. Uh, Collider <laughs> Heroes is on to every Anytime Tuesday. Anytime you want to talk Doctor Strange. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Deadpool. Oh yeah. yeah. X-Men. Yep. Right on. Yeah. Got it. We got it. Yeah, uh, just a shout out to everyone who worked on the film with me. Uh, my close friends, Holly, Marie, Jason, Rob, Chris. Very small crew, but you guys rock. And nice. So, That's awesome. Okay. I'll see you guys right. at Comic-Cons in the future. Nice. All right. Well, we've got to close the show out. So uh, that's our show. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we uh, Special thanks to our prize sponsor, Where's the World of Conventions. They've got Chicago this weekend. It's their giant, big yeah. Mamma Jamma show. Like They've got Jeremy Renner Facebook there. Yeah, talking yeah, about I know. It. Uh, San Jose, September 4th, mm -hmm. 5th, and 6th, and then Pittsburgh, 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 uh, Pittsburgh, September 11th, 12th, and 13th. Sorry we didn't get a chance to get to uh, like a question of the week or anything, but we had Schnepp on, so we didn't want to <laughs> take time to do that. Sorry, guys. Uh, but, uh, please don't forget to mm -hmm. subscribe to our show on uh, iTunes, Marvel Movie News, rate us and leave us a comment, or on YouTube through the Popcorn Talk Network. Comment and thumbs up. It keeps us coming back to you. You can also find us on Facebook, forward slash Marvel News Show, or on Twitter, at Marvel News PTN. I'm Matt Key. At I'm Matt Key. Placo at M Placo and find me uh, the first week of September in Houston at Amazing Houston Comic Con. Okay. Uh, I'm Coy Jondro at Coy Jondro and buy a ticket to American Ultra if you're going to see Fantastic Four. And, oh, and I'm John Schnepp and you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at John Schnepp. And that's our show. Thank you very much. From producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire Popcorn Talk Network, we would like to thank you for tuning in. For questions or comments, be sure to visit PopcornTalk.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of the Popcorn Talk Network. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only, not necessarily reflect the views of the Popcorn Talk Network or its owners or principals.